Destination Space News now. It's a big day over there on the Space Coast. Time now 2.31. We are counting down to the Axiom 2 mission launch from right here on our Space Coast. Let's take a live feed now and take a look at it. Uh, this is where the crew will be shortly leaving and getting ready to head up into space. You are looking live at that SpaceX feed. Launch is about uh, three hours and eh, five minutes and change away from happening. Let's head out now to our space experts. That's where we find Spectrum News 13's Greg Pallone, Will Robinson Smith. Gentlemen, uh, I look, the smiles say it all. I know this is a big day for you guys, so I'll just let, I'll just hand it off right now. Ah, we appreciate that, Asher. Yeah, we're excited. We're excited. Mm -hmm. Anytime you're flying people to space, uh, there is room for plenty of excitement. And again, everything looking good with the timeline so far. As you just mentioned a moment ago, the crew of Axiom 2 getting ready to walk out and then head out to pad 39A as this timeline uh, is ramping up and things are looking good so far. The Falcon 9 with SpaceX standing ready for launch uh, at pad 39A, three and a half miles behind us where we are here at the Kennedy Space Center. Liftoff set for 537 p.m. We are watching the weather. We're watching the weather. Weather is on the, the more positive side, but you've got three people that are flying to space for the first time. So you know yeah. they're very excited. If we can go to the SpaceX feed now live in about five seconds, uh, the crew of the Axiom 2 mission is going to be coming out and uh, heading into their black Teslas. And there they are, all four astronauts of the Axiom 2 mission. Commander Peggy Whitson, Pilot John Schaffner, Mission Specialist 1, Ali Alak, Alwarkney and Mission Specialist 2, Rihanna Barwani. Uh, those last two are government astronauts from Saudi Arabia, the first um, of their own astronaut program. They've had an astronaut who's come from Saudi Arabia before back in the 80s, but this is the first time in the modern era that they've flown astronauts from that country. A true international mission to the International Space Station. That says it all right there. As uh, the crew now going to be hopping in their Teslas uh, to take about, what, about a 10, 15 minute ride uh, from where they are over to pad 39A, so they'll be passing us here, and so we're looking forward to that uh, as we're here at the press site. Uh, again, a 10-day mission, one day up, one day back, eight days of research. Uh, this uh, crew is going to be participating in and having about 20 research experiments, so a lot going on uh, with this mission. They're packing it all in in that uh, little bit more than a week up there. Uh, packing it in quickly, but uh, a bit of an adjustment from the last time we saw a private astronaut mission. One of the things that they looked at from that was was they packed in a lot. They tried to basically, from the second they got up there, cram in as much as they physically could, and they said it was a bit too much. So they are dialing that back a little bit. Uh, Peggy Whitson, the commander of the mission, said she's kind of taking a little bit of a slower roll, especially to help these three rookies acclimate. Same with the on-orbit crew. We've got the crew of the NASA um, SpaceX uh, or uh, Crew 6 mission mm -hmm. that's up there, um, along with the other crew members on the Russian side. They're all going to kind of join in and help them acclimate to space because, you know, it's it's a very jarring experience and, and a lot to, to take on uh, going for the first time. But you can see in the, those Teslas, it's all smiles as they're uh, getting ready to launch in just about three hours. Love to be in their shoes right now. That would be absolutely amazing. Uh, one thing to note, though, about this mission, SpaceX, their second day uh, dairy mission that they uh, do all the time, landing the first stage booster. Where this time, it's going to be coming back to landing zone one at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station next door. So we with that, about eight minutes after liftoff, expect a sonic boom here on the Space Coast and points uh, to the west, and uh, we'll see how far south and how far north that reaches uh, with the, the flight path. So that's something also that is going to be part of the, this mission. But again, things looking good so far uh, for this as the crew. Uh, now they are wheels up. They are heading out and driving through, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing them here in just a few minutes. But again, everything looking good so far uh, for this mission, set for 5.37 p.m., an instantaneous launch from Pad 39A here at the Kennedy Space Center to the International Space Station. The Axiom 2 crew, Will and I will be here, and along with our photographer, John Chabon, we'll be monitoring the situation out here at the Kennedy Space Center uh, all afternoon long. We're looking forward to this launch. We hope you'll stick with us. For Will Robinson-Smith, I'm Greg Pallone, Spectrum News 13.